Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making shredded chicken and rice. It's delicious and super easy to make. And you know what? I need to think of other things to say because this whole it's delicious and super easy to make is getting old. I always say the same thing, but it is. It's delicious and it's easy to make. So let's get started. Let's talk business for a second. This is not authentic chicken and rice. I do have an arroz con pollo video and that's cooked with bone-in chicken. However, for this dish, we will be using skinless, boneless breast, which if you cook for a long period of time, it tends to dry out a lot. So let's season these any way you'd like. I used a poultry seasoning blend to season the chicken. You can use Cajun seasoning, adobo, etc. I also sprinkled on some paprika, cumin, and some lime juice. Anytime I make beans or chicken or rice, I have to throw in a pinch of cumin to give me some Spanish flavor. And I think cumin does that for me. I use lime juice because I always marinate my chicken with a sour orange mix when making chicken and rice. I didn't have any oranges, so I just use half a lime. Cook the chicken for about 5 minutes on each side, so a total of 10 minutes is perfect. I removed the chicken from the skillet and threw in the onions and peppers, saute them for a couple of minutes. I poured in some vino seco, dry white wine. That is optional. My mother always adds beer when she makes chicken and rice. I don't because I never have beer on hand and imagine going to the liquor store for just one can of beer. No thanks. I added some fresh garlic and some tomato sauce. Give everything a stir. Season this little concoction with some salt pepper, and oregano. Cubans love to add oregano, garlic, cumin, and vino seco to their food. Most of us do. We just love those ingredients. Not saying this is a Cuban dish. No, no. I've never seen my grandmother or my mother make chicken and rice this way. They always cook the chicken with the rice. That's fine. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Go ahead and throw in a bay leaf or two and the rice. Give everything a stir. And now normally when I make chicken and rice, I always use water. But since we are not cooking the chicken along with the rice, I highly recommend using chicken stock. Why are we not cooking the chicken with the rice? Well, because I had some boneless, skinless chicken breast and I was in the mood for chicken and rice. Make sure to scrape down the sides of any rice grains. Season this with salt and pepper. Sesong is optional. Make sure to taste for seasoning, of course. And let this come up to a boil over high heat and then lower the heat and cover the pot. Here's my delicious chicken, which I covered with aluminum foil so it doesn't get cold. Of course, you could prepare the chicken last minute or while the rice is cooking. You can even serve it on the side. It'll still be chicken and rice. I didn't mention to marinate the chicken for hours because, in my opinion, thinly sliced chicken breasts don't need to be marinated for hours. If it were bone and chicken, then I would definitely recommend marinating for hours. So I shredded it with two forks. It's super tender because, like I mentioned earlier, we only cooked it for about 10 10 minutes and the rice cooked for about 35 to 40 minutes. I honestly never keep track of time when cooking rice. I let it go until it's done. The bottom burns. It's called raspa and believe it or not, I have some family members that like burnt rice. Mm -hmm. Cray cray. I added some mini olives, um, wait, capers, capers, some peas and some cilantro. Cilantro is optional. Highly recommend adding the peas and the capers or you can add olives. You can even add corn and carrots, that's great too. I squeeze some lime juice over my rice because it takes it to a whole nother level of deliciousness. And you know what else is really good? Hot sauce. Hot sauce and lime juice over chicken and rice? Heaven. To die for. All cliche? Give me some new phrases to describe food, please. Out of this world, it was delicious. I really hope you guys give this recipe a try. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for watching.